Okay, bumped up to level five, and this is seen. Whoa, two thousand. That's a big jump. Level four, seventeen hundred, and then level five is two thousand. Where's like the eighteen hundreds, nineteen hundreds? Okay, so two thousand is obviously going to give me a kind of pressure. Small paw move here, probably attacking here. No, I'm gonna. Yeah, a bit, went a bit quick there, you know. It's a 30 minute, 10 second game. Night on the rim, but not for long, so it's not too dim. Could look to see. Is that going to work? No, I'm just going to bring it here. Look at that instant pressure on the night already. We won't have time to push here because it's going to push down. It's going to have a powerful pawn. We can castle inside. He still maintains his little attack. Then where does the knight go? Knight doesn't have any space because if we go there, queen takes. Imagine if we, we can come back here. doesn't look too rosy for us though does it going to castle into the fire just bringing the rook already getting activated oh who had sights of that then i thought i was going to get a little bit of gold let's push here bishop's attacking the knight he wants me to take probably oh he doesn't okay Let's go here. I thought he wanted to open up this pawn. He doesn't need to open the pawn because his knight's coming in doing some devastation. Let's come here. Wow, this computer likes to do lazy man's chest, doesn't it? I mean, it doesn't really sort of like develop his pieces in unison. You know, it's, it's attacked with one piece with the knight here, then it's attacked with another piece here. And it's looking to develop Bishop now attacking a key square. Hmm. Smaller piece attacking the higher piece. Where does he go? It's going to maintain pressure around the king area, isn't he? No, he's gone away. Okay, he's attacking the pawn. Let's push here. Really odd computer play, isn't it? It's not like how. Um, in the olden days when you used to play on the little machines that you can buy from the stores and stuff they seem to be a little bit more set with the way that they played you know traditional classical openings this is like it's almost like a i won't say human but it, it doesn't it's not like a setting stone type thing but it is finding good positions it's just that it's a bit delayed late to the party with these bishops and his queen is a little bit slow but it's how they then make that transition from being slow to then all of a sudden he's attacking with these pawns do we really i'm i'm kind of jammed in really aren't i in a sense let's get this knight maybe bring it back here yeah so he was always going to do that let's just defend with the knight yeah they just whip stuff off the board as well it's so surreal it's, they're, they're ugly they're not it's not like pretty I'm gonna take as well so you don't really know where they're gonna come from it's gonna take the pawn with the queen I do have sights of attacking the rook but i'm not sure if that's gonna be a good thing or not we're gonna go for it anyway so we're attacking the pawn as well you could always castle or something and it's protecting the pawn with the queen so it's not i think we've played a 2000 or oh, 2000 player it was one tip with a question mark on and that wasn't too bad i bit went to the wire on that one so let's see what we have nothing there 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 there, there. maybe i need to bring my queen back because it's potentially going to get trapped into bring it here attacking the knight and also the rook queen 
Queen's doing a lot of work defending everywhere. Look at it. Could attack. Maybe bring this rook here first. I think that's. I had to do something different. It's. Um, I'm not going to win that tempo now. So if we go here, his pawn takes. Then we go here with a check on the king. Maybe the queen comes in. The, no, the queen won't defend because the rook will take. So we attack. Does the knight attack our queen? No. Say the pawn takes. Queen comes with a check. King goes back. We take this pawn. Knight's gonna do something, isn't it? I'm gonna push, see how that looks after those three moves. Oh, the queen takes. Damn. Didn't even throw that in the equation at all. Oh. Well, that's a horse of a different colour, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't even throw that in at all, did I? Oh, let's take. I don't I didn't need to take, but uh, well. So now this pawn doesn't have any protection on. Rook can come through. Bishop can't really get into the game, can it? Which is a damn shame. Could attack the pawn with the rook. King has to come down. He's on a white square. Oh, we just don't have space. So if we try and set it up. Again, that's slow. That sort of makes a slow process. So if we attack the pawn, then we can bring the bishop here, attacking the king if he drops down to defend. Oh, come on, cut us some slack. Let's attack the pawn anyway. Maybe this comes down. Oh, they're finding all sorts of good stuff here. Let's attack the king again. Could take the... I'm going to take it. Oh, something strange is happening. Let's go here with the bishop, link up the rooks. Knight takes the pawn now. And oh, we're down about. Oh, it's only plus one. I thought we were down loads of pawns. Oh, we've got double pawns here on this far side. If we take the rook, he's only in the file. Gonna have to bring the king across. Is his knight got some sort of check situation? Take the rook, bring the king across. Bring the king across. Looking to exchange off the rooks, but he's not going to be wearing that her apples, is he? He's coming for the pawn. Uh, Dear, dear me. Let's attack his knight. If we attack his knight, his knight comes down. And he's got a check on both the pawn and the rook. Rook comes up, puts a check on the king. And his rook can't put a check on us at the minute, but we'll see. Okay, so we'll attack the knight. Maybe he just simply just defends. Damn. Uh, oh, he's got my bishop and he's coming round the back. <sighs> Take him. takes the bishop we get the pawn type thing but he's a pawn up and it's a computer so really and truly he's got linked pawns as well so it's not going to work out in our favor damn 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 let's go here it's just going to dance them down dance 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 let's just get a flight square for the king then his king probably mows you over. But yeah, look at that. I think I could quite safely resign this one, I think. I don't think there's much dice here for me. Let's go here. Yeah, there's, um, there's not much happening. Come across. 
Yes. Nothing doing here, kiddo. Oh, what I'm doing? What am I doing? Oh, <laughs> stupid. Oh, okay, he's let us off. He's let us off because that pawn could have taken my king then, and then his rook just takes the pawn here. I don't know what they're playing at because really these pawns are going down. Uh, I've run out of moves, haven't I? So if I come down, then he gets a check, so I have to move or go back, and then he starts pushing the pawns. Uh, He could risk it for a biscuit, start more, but no, he's not doing it. Let's go there. It's not going for a draw, not when he's got two linked pot, exactly. And if we go there, we lose out because he just comes back up with a check. I have to move out of the way, then his pawn comes down. There's not much going here, dude. If I go up, he just pushes. If I go up, it's absolutely plenty of time as well, but it's plenty of time to see me getting squished and squished and squished. He's doing these, you see this quite a lot, you know, when somebody's got an advantage to do certain moves and make it look like it's going to be a draw, and then they'll come out with the magic. Let's go here. He may as well forget that pawn, I think, and just look to push these down. He's going for it. Let's go here. It's not a good position for my rook taking that pawn, really. Because I'm not going to get back to be able to save these pawns, and they know this, so. Uh, let's attack this one. Yeah, that, that pawn's ramping home, isn't it? ramping on we do have a passer but it's not I don't know we can't do anything our king's all trapped in there if we come there if we go there he just comes behind and starts pushing his pawn down if we go here we can't push down but his rook can defend mm, but then my rook is just stuck with this pawn isn't it can't really mobilize <coughs> come down with a pin on the king, rook comes across, king moves off of the pin, and then I'm stuck. No, I'm, what did I just do? Is it my go? Still my go. There we go. Go here. There's not much movement there. I'll be stuck for the rest of the game. Yeah, still stuck for the rest of the game anyway. He's just going to go down, 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 down. Could start pushing this one up. It's not going to make it though, is it? We go one, his king comes to the side, just not going to make it, and then he can take it. Yeah, if we bring that rug across, he pushes down, we push up, he pushes down, we push up, he moves his rook out of the way. back attacking the pawn he pushes down rooks protecting we push up then he has to find a way of putting a check on my king so yeah could have to give that a try although we've forgotten about the king moving there Yeah, he can still go there, can't he? I didn't factor that in. Okay, just move it up. Yeah, damn. Damn and blast. Blast! Blast! Put a check on the king. Or attack this pawn. And then he comes up for the rook anyway. 
Uh, go back one. King goes up. There was nothing else I could do. So his rooks come down. He's going to go here. Oh, he's, no. Yeah. He's going to do this check on the king thing. Oh, sad times. Sad times. Sad times. I think he has to take, don't he? Sad times, sad times. I can't stop this. His king is coming over. If I push here again, we fall into that situation. Of course, his rook comes and puts a check on. That's a definite for certain. Then I have to move down. Then the pawn takes. That, that's more. Pr that's too much. That's too much. If I chase his king around, he's gonna just start moving across. Down, 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 protecting the pawn. Oh, I could simply resign on this one. Uh, this is very similar again to the 2000 player that I played with the question mark on. It went to the wire. Hmm. What if we went big with the pawn? Then if his rook comes up, then at least we've got a passer, haven't we? So if he takes, so I forget that one. If we go big here, then he takes, then our king takes. So we're sort of in the game-ish. It's just that our king then, his rook, once he starts pushing this down, his rook can then come behind, get the check, and then get the queen. Oh, full time. Just stop the recording while I go for my food. Oh, just back for a little bit. See what drasticness we can create here so I'm I'm plumping for just pushing past on this pawn here I know the dangers to doing it uh, so we do have the passer but he's, like I say his rook can actually come here at some point if I start moving my king or putting pressure on this side here so his king's gonna start making his way down towards supporting this pawn Mm hmm. Gonna move the king. And if I did move there, this pawn's gonna go because his rook's just gonna come and take it. And maybe we can take this pawn with our rook. I'm not sure he's gonna allow that though, is he? So if we went here, it comes up. I'm going to go here with the potential option of moving up, but I'm not sure how far. Oh. Okay, so if we went there to start attacking the pawn. Obviously, he's going to come across and take this pawn. If he comes across, we take the pawn here. But that's a problem, isn't it? Yep. See how it thinks. It's got that pawn right there because he wants us here. But our king would be there, so it'd be off of the line. He would then go here if he was going to do that. If we take, then he takes. Mm -hmm. 
takes there if we come back up to protect the pawn he can come behind the pawn looking to take it we can bring the king here but then he starts pushing his pawn down but we'll take his rook okay I don't know it seems doable but I didn't I don't want to risk it <laughs> um, and if we pushed up to sort of get our king away from because if he pushes down he'll be looking for the rook putting a check on the king so that he can queen So we pushed up, he pushes down, we go here, get the king to safety. So he can no longer get the king queen check thing, so he'll probably just come here for our pawn. We take his, he takes ours, sorry, he takes ours. Our king is protecting our pawn but also attacking this pawn. which is better this feels better because it feels like I'm going to have an opportunity to at least guard my pawn up but his rook is going to be supporting his pawn so we go up 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 potentially just drops or maybe he doesn't and he just goes rook check I'll come down and attack him moves his rook back I'm actually going to try that something's saying well just try and support your pawn if it's getting to the proper end oh he's not going for any of that so if we're pushing the pawn putting a check on so his king's going a bit further back then we go here because his king's probably going to move there to block it so then he goes a bit further back move our king across looking to attack this pawn he pushes his pawn like we said we want to squeeze our king here so that we're not getting that rook check thing but we're also actually on his pawn <laughs> Tricky times, tricky times, tricky times. Gonna see if that works. Oh, we don't even have to do the rook check on the kit. Oh, he's coming down to protect his pawns. And put the check. I must get my king here, but he's gonna block it off. He's going there. He's blocked off that move because he wants that. Oh, you know, too shifty out of these computers. Now my king can't hide away. So he's going to get the rook check to get his pawn promoted. Oh, give me strength. So I may, I may as well just come down here now then, aren't I? I didn't think he'd bring his king down, I thought he was going to go back. One, two, three, three moves away. Could be done, couldn't it? If I move it, one. He moves his pawn, one. He's, no, he's not, he's going to get me. Yeah. His pawn's there, then he just goes here, check. Have to move the king, gets the queen. It's not possible, so I'm going to have to move my king down, and he probably still gets it, don't he? Moves it down, then we move to here, attacking the rook. <coughs> Does he have fanciness? Rook checks still. King takes. King takes. Rook comes for the pawn. Uh, 
Rook comes down, defends the pawn. His king comes over to take this pawn. Ah, oh, my king is out of the picture. Maybe I shouldn't have pushed that pawn. I thought that was going to be my saving grace. Ah, okay, let's go here. To the wire. Same with the last 2,000 player. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, um, it's breaking the rhythm here. It's push. I didn't even put any thought into that, did I? But we've got a rook defend. Oh. If we attack the rook. Maybe he's going for a 2 on 1. I don't know what they're thinking. If we go and attack the pawn. Somehow I feel like he's trying to get my rook off the board as well. Somehow, somehow. But he's got this pawn that is more advanced as well. Well, it's advanced. We've got our pawn advanced. Somehow, some combat. But the further away my king goes away from my pawn, I feel like um, I'm, I'm losing out. But he's got a check. So if I don't go to this pawn, he's then just going to mosey it down. If I attack his rook, he just comes back again. Maybe. I don't think he does. I'm not too sure. Attacks, attacks. Pushes the pawn. So attack the rook. I'm not sure. I don't, look, I don't know what's happening here. It looks simple. It looks like we can get an advantage, but then it doesn't. So he's given up the pawn for a better position on the board. Looks like I'm losing out. If I greedy munch this pawn, what happens? He's not got my king in a parallel pin and we're also protecting our pawn for a second no this is this is a 2000 and it's 2000 I'm overthinking it and the creative brain is just going absolutely crazy because I'm thinking there's no way made I'm getting this back surely I take maybe his king takes the pawn I'm, so I'm going to be in a bad position, aren't I? Okay, let's take it. Looks pretty obvious to do that. So he's not taken the pawn either. So he's looking to put pressure on the king again, is he? I suppose. If we push the pawn, he has to go around the back. Or if we attack his king trying to get rid of this pawn so we put a check on his king goes here no that doesn't work does it if we push the pawn up past pawns want to be pushed so we might as well push it so you can't put a check on our king there so then his rook comes behind to stop it from going further or the king chases it but I think the rook goes behind to block it Okay, past pawns want to be pushed, and the position of that looks fairly favourable. Then it must be, maybe we're going up to protect the pawn now then, and then the king goes up, and then we can come up maybe for this pawn here. Go and protect, and then we can move up. I don't know if we'll get the pawn in time or not when the rook takes we take king takes kings here he's not going to be able to come down to protect but he might do some fancy blocking maneuvers so let's grab well that's a bit surreal it's not over yet though I'm just, it's a computer there it's a 2000 level computer <laughs> uh, so opposition type thing yeah, I don't think we've got it though, have we? Because <laughs> we can just go backwards and forwards. 
So I am comfortable with a draw if he's wanting to go for a draw. Yeah. It's always tempting to push the pawn up and but you have to have that opposition and I, I don't have it. Yeah, so if you go here like this, he just goes there and then there's no dice. So I'm gonna come across. I'm going to come across again. And it's a draw. We've got a draw with the 2000 Stockfish. Excellent. I think I'm pleased with that performance, although I'm quite shocked at how we came back in that particular game. 